My last report today is about fish and chips. Good afternoon, welcome to you. This is Barry and Julian here. Thanks for joining me here. It's 19 minutes to 2 o'clock and thanks for joining Julian and I here today. Well, what a show we brought to you today. And, and here is my offside and now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And, and I'm going to talk to you now about the fish and chip shop at Narawena. Now my number here, it was nine. Now I had some beautiful from fish and chips today. Eleven dollars guys. So if you've got eleven dollars in your purse or wallet, Whip on into the old fashioned fish and chip shop at Narrowena on the corner of Macintosh and Alfred Street at Narrowena, opposite the Narrowena Public School, guys, and talk to the staff at the Northern Beaches uh, at the old fashioned fish and chip shop. I nearly said the Northern Beaches Hospital then. Sorry about that. So, so, um, the fish and chips at Marijuana today, I really did enjoy them. And the chips were absolutely beautiful, nicely cooked on the outside and nice and fluffy on the inside. But with your thinking, I'm grabbing and serving I'm from fish and chip, chips guys then we suggest that you head on to the old fashioned fish and chip shop guys, the staff are friendly there and only two people per customer due to the, the corona virus guys so, so I didn't go into the store I waited outside and 10 minutes later my meal came out and I can tell you guys it was absolutely sensational and I ate a lot like there was no tomorrow and I was enjoying it and if you'd like to make your own fish and chips at home make sure you've got good quality ingredients like good fish and a good batter simply add like um, a cup of flour some water some baking powder and some milk okay and then dip your fish in your batter okay and then deep fry or shallow fry or however you want to cook your fish but make sure your oil is not too hot guys when you are cooking your fish or frying your fish while that's cooking it and once your fish is and chips are done you you can drain them on some paper towel and serve with some salad and a lemon wedge now, and if you'd like to make some potato scallops too uh, simply thinly slice some potatoes make a batter that, that is nice and, and thick okay or 
or cutting potatoes into big slices, okay, with a, with a knife, then dip your potato slices in to the batter and and then deep fry, allow the excess batter to drop off and then deep fry or shallow fry in some oil until golden brown, okay, and then serve with lemon wedges and, and chips. And, and that's another good lunch now idea there as well. So, so if you are, if you're in the mood for fish and chips or scallops and chips, well, you've got two good options there. And the very last thing I'd like to talk about is sausage rolls. Now, how would you make sausage rolls? Well, you would need some good quality um, um, sausage mince from your butchers, and then you would put that in between your pastry, and cut the rolls, the rolls into small rolls or large rolls, whatever. Okay. Then add some sesame seeds before baking, and to do an egg wash, guys, for the these there for the sausage roll. What you do is beat some eggs and some milk and then brush over the top and then bake in the oven until the pastry is nice and golden brown and then you serve with tomato sauce one and they will go down well. What do you think about sausage drugs, Julian? I was never a big fan of um, sausage rolls or meat pies uh, growing up because they tended to be um, like a frozen type of you know variety which you just get in. But uh, with the advent of um, the move towards gourmet style uh, and much more I could really like them. What was your was your favourite place to get a pie or a sausage roll? Man? Maybe um, Maryland Pie Shop. I can't say I've been to that, but there's yeah the pie shop. So there was uh, there's one at Polaroy. It used to be very good. Did you ever visit that one? Yeah, is it still there? It's still there, but I think it changed hands. The last pies I got there were not um, not that great. So uh, the recipe of the pastry or something like that with the new owners. We go down and check it out. That might have changed. It might have just been a bad day. So so we hope that you enjoy this segment of of the show today and we're heading into the closing segment of our show right now so the the final message and closing and sign off is coming up now you've been watching Barry and Julian